Hello, this is Scott Carpenter. Uh, I found something interesting here on my public land uh, search area. Uh, with the government shutdown, I can't get on the National Park. So I've uh, come to my old stomping grounds. And uh, it's been about a month, maybe even more, since I've been in here. And uh, I've talked a lot about mock stick structures. Uh, I found early in on in my uh, research that uh, the Bigfoot seemed to make these stick structures where they would build a, make an X, and then they would take a stick, a, a cross stick and balance it. So you had an X and then a stick, you know, just perfectly balanced. And I found a couple of those on this area. Well, when I tried to duplicate it, and they always take the balance stick out and snap it in two or break it or put it on the ground. I've even taped it in there and they've still pulled it out. And the last time I did the same thing I normally do. I made my, my little pyramid and made or my little X and put my crossing stick. And it appears that uh, the uh, Bigfoot have done some reworking of it, and I'm going to show you. Now, this stick here has been broke off on both ends. Of course, that's the older, that's the old end. And when I first, the way I had it, is I had the cross member, the balance stick, was in here. That's where I had my balance stick. And kind of back off this structure so you can see. I use the Y of the tree to balance mine. Now I come back today and you can see that the, the long stick that I used has been broken off into a shorter piece. It's been pushed up. You can see it's been pushed up here. It's been wedged. Look there, see it's wedged tight. It's very tight. And you can see that the pattern that's been made is that an X with a cross in the middle of it. Sorry. Had my finger on the thing. All right, there we go. Apologize. All right, so you can see the uh, the pattern that's made made there, you just use the sticks and it's an X and then right through the center of the X is that crossing stick. So, kind of come back around here. You can see from this, see, I had this stick and it was longer right here and balanced. And then, I mean, this thing's wedged in there. I mean, it's not, it's not loose. You can see, if you look here, you can see it's been pushed up in there. It's been shoved up. <laughs> Same thing, you know. So it's just not been like blown up in there. But it forms that little X. And then with a cross, cross member. And, uh, so I guess they got tired of fighting with me and just did something themselves or took it over and sent a different message. So back up here, you can kind of get an idea of the whole deal. Remember my mine was balanced there in the lower notch. There's a good angle of that. Isn't that weird? And this is some of the stuff they'll do. I don't have a clue what it means. It's probably a trail marker or a territorial marker maybe. It's just I find it interesting that they reformed it and reused what I had done. Or maybe another clan mistakenly thought, you know, it was done by another, you know, rival clan and they kind of reworked it. I don't have a clue. I thought that was very interesting. 
kind of give you an idea of the area. So there's another one of their little stick structure deals and uh, what they do. Of course, the more we learn, the more we don't know. So, hope you enjoyed this. Have a good day. Hello, this is Scott Carpenter again. Uh, I wanted to show you what I call a Y trail marker. And what the Bigfoot seem to do is they'll take a limb and it has a fork in it and they'll break it off. And they'll usually either set it above or on the same limb uh, that was the source. In other words, it didn't, you know, it's obvious it didn't fall from above. It, actually came from below. Now this is the older one. It's been here for a couple of years, but it, it still, I can still show you how they do it. And, uh, let me flip this around here. You can see here, there's a Y. See how they've stuck it in that Y right there? And then right behind it's a smaller one. See that? All right, now, that guy came from this slim. And the little guy came from right there. And so, you know, they broke it off here and placed it higher in the tree. Broke it off here and again placed it higher. If you're going to try to argue that these limbs broke off and fell from above, uh, I, I kind of differ with you. I, I've never known sticks to defy gravity, especially one with... Uh, You'll look here how long these uh, branches are. I have a hard time figuring out how it snapped there, flipped backwards, uh, went up in the air, and then lodged there. So, and then of course this little one here, he came off right there. He ended up up there. And so, I think they use these as trail markers. I find them from time to time, and they're unusual. Because they usually, you know, like I said, they come off the uh, the source branch. They're either on the source branch or above the source branch. And this one is extremely has long branches, so I have a hard time believing that just flipped backwards and up magically by itself. Here's from the front view. Sun's shadows make it a little more difficult to see right there, but. 
You can see that. But there's you, uh, turn around here. But there's a Y trail marker. Uh, it's a commonly used.